is the kind of day you might want to bundle up in a warm Shetland sweater or spend the day inside spinning yarn and knitting your own. Either way, our man Mike Randall takes us to Middleport where one couple shows you how to do it all. You can't blame these gals for being a bit sheepish. They're just making sure it's safe. They don't have TV cameras in their face every day. It's a break in their routine. We are at Whispering Pines Farm in Middleport, where it's obvious these woolly wonders save their affection for one person. They love me. Jen Johnson and her husband Rich started their Shetland sheep business 25 years ago with just five sheep. Four females that are called ewes, one male, which is called a ram. One thing led to another. <laughs> now we're up to 70. And every single one has a name. This one is Carmen, and that is Septima. Each spring, when new lambs come along, Jen names them. I have a year that I named them all after characters from Downton Abbey. The soft Shetland wool is in demand by knitters and spinners. Jen's demonstrating a drop spindle. And I am using technology that dates back to the time of the Vikings. She sells spinning wheels and natural soft Shetland wool and yarn on her website. If you want to find out more about life on the sheep farm or about spinning, you're in luck. Jen has a YouTube channel. She has tons of videos showing off the farm, spinning demos. There's a great video showing how they weathered the last blizzard. So it's Christmas Day. We had a blizzard for the past two days. You'll find Whispering Pines on Instagram, and Jen has weekly live segments on Facebook. At noon every Friday, or I try to do every Friday, where I just sit here with my cell phone and do a live feed for 45 minutes. Um, just kind of catch up and have visit with the sheep. The cap she's wearing features all the different colors of the wool produced here. We cater to a small niche of spinners that like natural colors. And FYI, sheep love the cold weather. And winter is a great time of year to pick up a new hobby like spinning or knitting or making new friends. So Are they going to eat it all up in one bite? Mike Randall, 7 News, Middleport.